Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited because I'm gonna be sharing something with you that I've been wanting to share for a minute now. I'm gonna be sharing my favorite spiritual or like life-changing books with you guys. So these are all books that helped me um, progress on my spiritual journey and just like my self-awareness journey and everything like that. You don't really have to be spiritual to enjoy these books at all. However, there are some like practices or some readings that might resonate more if you are a spiritual person but it doesn't really matter these are all books that just open my mind in different ways and um i'm really grateful for them so i want to share them with you guys also if you guys are going to buy any of these books i do have affiliate amazon links in the description so if you are going to buy them i would really appreciate if you use my link because that's supporting the channel and it helps me out i get commission off of that i will be transparent with you guys i pay my own bills i'm self-employed it's a win-win situation if you're gonna buy the book anyways you can support me at the same time i would really appreciate it all the links are in the description that would mean the world to me okay let's get started this is the pile i have here Whew. the drivers are out tonight okay this is going to be in no particular order but i am going to save the best for last um, okay, fine, second best for last, because this one is the best, and th this is not going to be last. This is going to be first. I'm going to get it out of the way. This is my book, okay? I want to talk about it for a second, because I genuinely think it's a great, informative read, and I did not make this video to make this into, like, an ad. I just genuinely would love more people to enjoy this book and gain from it. So, if you guys don't know, I wrote this book cover to cover. Pretty much what it is, is it's a mindfulness guide. It's a self-help book that helps you become more self-aware, helps you get rid of your toxic traits, become aware of your bad traits, your good traits, helps you love yourself by using your zodiac sign, which is what's unique about it. So like in the book, there are like journal prompts and questions, self-reflection questions, just like a lot of intense stuff that might trigger you, might annoy you, but in a good way because it makes you think about yourself. You know what I mean? So it's a really intense book. I just know what went into this book and I know that it's helpful. It talks about your sun sign, your rising sign, your moon sign, so if you're into astrology and self-help and self-awareness, this is a really good book. It's called Mindfulness Through the Stars by Ashley Flores and I will link it down below, of course. All of these are linked down below. All right, let's get into some more favorites. These two I'm gonna do together because they're part of the same series. I have here The Secret and The Power. If you're into the law of attraction, you need to read these books, okay? The Secret is the first one. This book explains what the law of attraction is, how to use it, like all about the law of attraction. It's really informative, it's beautiful. If you don't believe in the law of attraction or if you need to like remind yourself why you believed in the first place, pick up this book because it will make you so aware of your thoughts and the power that they hold you just need this book okay power is even better because it takes everything in this book that you learned and it teaches you how to like specifically apply them to real life so it's like this is the guide this is the instruction like this is what you do this is how you're going to use the law of attraction this is how you're going to use the techniques we mentioned in the first book this one is more detailed so if you can only afford one my suggestion watch the secret on netflix it's this book in a movie and buy this book because this one is what you need i'm telling you the law of attraction is a really powerful thing when you learn how to use it i mean regardless it's powerful but these books will show you how to use it and apply it to your everyday life and help you become aware of your thoughts and it's just they're just uh, the great books great books you are a badass at making money along with this one is the first book you are badass i have it i can't find it but that's the cover right there Number one pretty much takes all the self-help books that are like really well known and puts them into one book. It helps you with um, thinking positively, changing your life, transforming your attitude. It helps you with um, just like being aware of your energy and things like that. It teaches a lot of things from the secret in there, which is really great. So it's a really helpful book. You Are Badass at Making Money is by the same author, same energy, but this one's more about changing your beliefs about money, how you think about money, and how to attract it, how to manifest it, how to pretty much use money to your advantage and get rid of any like negative attachments or doubts or fears that you have surrounding money. It just helps you look at money differently and just become more aware of the fact that it is an energy. Money comes, money goes, money flows, and it really teaches you that in this book, so. How to talk to anyone. This one, 
There was someone in my life that used to mention this book to me a lot and I always thought I wanted to pick it up and then one day I was at the thrift store and it caught my eye, just like a big yellow book. So I just headed towards it and I just picked it right out of the bookshelf and I looked at it and it was the book that I've been meaning to buy for forever. I felt like it was like a sign, like, hey, you need this, so you should pick it up right now. And it was $2. So anyways, it was really weird, but how to talk to anyone, 92 little tricks for big success in relationships. So if you're someone with social anxiety or you're shy or you don't know how to make small talk or talk in general, or you want to win people over, you need this book. This book teaches you how to communicate and how to like carry a conversation, how to carry yourself with confidence, how to approach people, how to make eye contact, how to become aware of your body language. It's such a good book. It's so informative. It's so specific. It gives you examples and exercises, but it's, you know what I love about it? It's entertaining. It's actually an entertaining book. Like listen to this chapter, how to talk to a celebrity. Like it's silly, how to avoid sounding like a jerk how to not sound anxious, let them discover your similarities, how to get them happily chatting so you can slip away if you want to, how to start small talk, how to know what to say after you say hi. You know what I mean? So it's a really good book if you're someone like me who struggled with making and keeping conversations and um, social anxiety, things like that. So highly recommend it. I actually read half of this and then listened to it on um, Audible or no script or something like that. I forget the name of the app. Scribe, scribed, and um, the the audiobook's good too. What a time to be alone. This book is cute. I really like this book. It helped me through my breakup last year, and pretty much this book is really nice because it's an easy read. As you can see, like a couple like I don't know if they're poems, but they're like blurbs. You know what I mean? So there's some pages that are long, some pages that are short. It's an easy read. Like if you're sad or if you just, you're alone, you're lonely, like this book is good to just kind of read through in a few days. I enjoyed it, the visuals are really lovely, lots of personal stories. I read it when I, like like I said, when I went through the breakup because I just wanted to remind myself of how much I love being alone and it really helped me, so I really like this book. The next book I have is actually another audiobook that I read, so, or listened to, so I don't have a physical copy, but this is the cover. It's called Single on Purpose and I loved this book. I just listened to this book maybe like three months ago, four months ago and it was so helpful. Th there are like a lot of books about being single that are just cheesy or they just tell you things that you already know or it's just like, I don't know, it's just like not giving. This book, it was good. It was like one of those books that I think everybody needs to hear if they're single, not even like post breakup. I'm just talking single because it talks about being single on purpose and knowing yourself and loving yourself and learning how to live as a single person and enjoy your solitude. And I don't know, like just the way he explained it, he was really good at explaining it and he shared a lot of personal stories. He's a therapist. His name is The Angry Therapist on Instagram. So he was sharing so much of his like client stories that made it more relatable. It was a really good book and it was interesting. It wasn't like a boring self-help book. It was very entertaining and I loved it. The next audiobook is Unfuck Yourself. This one was so good. I read this, or listened to it. Oh my God. In like April. And um, it was about like rewiring your brain and being aware and oh my God, it was just so good. Like it kind of reminded me of uh, the subtle art of not giving a fuck, but less aggressive and less like miserable. It was a little miserable, but in a good way because it was relatable. And um, it was just like tough love. That's what I loved about the book. It was like you're talking to like a friend, a parent, you know, someone that you're close to because it really felt tough love. Like you're hearing the things you need to hear to work on yourself. And that was something really special about that book. I really felt like it was like a friend in my ear. I think I had like an Irish accent. He was easy to listen to. And I was like, just listening, like, damn, like, I needed to hear this. It was really, it was really lovely. I really liked that book. Five love languages. If you're in a relationship, this is a really good read because, ooh, without the love languages, I don't know. Like, without, not even the love languages, without being aware of the love languages, relationships can get a lot harder than they need to be. Understanding your love language and your partner's could make or break your relationship, you know? Like, you can't be loving them in a language that they don't understand, and this book talks all about that. It talks about how to discover your own love language, how to learn your partners, and how to grow your relationship by using the love languages in it. And um, it's, a, it's a really good read. 
I mean, you could just watch videos about it on YouTube, but I just feel like this gives so many examples. Like, for example, if they tell you that their love language is acts of service, in this book, they show examples of how you can, you know, use that in your relationship and what acts of service you could do. And, you know, it, it's just really specific. And I feel like it's, it's a good read. So I think you should read it rather than just like watch the videos on YouTube um, or audiobook, of course. But yeah, this one's really good. My co-host and I actually have an episode on the love languages as well. If you wanted to just hear a podcast episode about it, I'll link that episode down below. While you're there, may as well subscribe to the podcast. Um, but yeah, that was a really informative episode about the love languages. Okay, the next book is another audiobook, and I'm halfway through it, but I really like it so far, so I do want to share it. It's called Think Like a Monk, and it's by Jay Shetty. I love him. Jay Shetty or Jay Shetty? I forget. But I love him. I love his interviews. I love his brain. I love his social media pages. Like, he's amazing. He used to be a monk. And he still practices certain things in his day-to-day -day life. He's a very aware, spiritually evolved, just like amazing human being. And his book is so well-written and personal. And he just teaches you a lot of monk teachings. So it's kind of like you're learning how monks think, but in a really simplified way. So you're not overwhelmed, you know? It's not too intense, it's not confusing. It's very clear and direct. And it allows you to be more compassionate, more open, more free flowing, more spiritual. Like it's a really, really beautiful book. I have not finished it, like I said, but I can already tell like I love it and I want to apply all the teachings that he says in my day to day life. It's just obviously it's hard because like, you know, I'm, I'm a human, I'm a flawed human and sometimes it's easy to get demotivated, but I feel like the book reminds me to like change my thinking in certain ways. So I really like it. Then we got the star of the show. How to Do the Work by Dr. Nicole LaPera. Ooh, this one, therapy in a book. How to do the work, recognize your patterns, heal from your past, create your best self. Oh, create yourself. It's by the holistic psychologist. So pretty much she is a therapist, she's a psychologist, but she's also very spiritual. So she mixes the worlds of spirituality and psychology into one book. I mentioned this on my last video, like, this is literally therapy in a book. It is just so amazing for self-healing. And um, there's just so many practices. There's journal prompts. There's like little blank spaces to write in. It's just, it's an amazing book. It's literally how to heal yourself. It, like if, if you can't afford therapy, get this book. If there's one book you're gonna get here. Okay, three books, okay, three books. It's this one. The Secret or The Power, and Mindfulness Through the Stars, of course. But if there's one book, I'm so sorry to my beautiful book, Mindfulness Through the Stars, but if there's one book, this one. This one. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was fun for me. I love talking about books. I have so many more if you guys want me to make another video on them. Um, if you have any recommendations, please drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think about the books I've read. If you've read any of them, share your thoughts on my list. Like, what books do you like or what of these do you recommend to people? I want to see your comments, okay? And also, don't forget to like the video. That helps me out a lot. It really does. Um, but with that being said, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.